I'm Martin Woods. I'm the curator of maps here at the National Library. I've been the curator since 2005. It's my job to acquire maps and ensure with other people here at the library that they are cared for and made available online and in our reading rooms. When the anniversary of the First World War was becoming close, I started to think about how maps were used during the war. Newspapers in the early 20th century were big business. There were 800 newspaper titles around Australia and several editions a day in many metropolitan dailies. So I really saw how news maps started to appear in newspapers and I wanted to understand how this could happen. So eventually that led to me um, creating a book, Where Are Our Boys? How News Maps Won the Great War. And that's the story that I'm telling. They're there to tell you a story, sometimes even convince you of a story. They'll have multiple projections on the same page. They'll have features that are almost lifelike, um, ships and battles and armies and so on. They really do bring you close to the action. And if a news map can engage you really well, it's probably the most powerful map um, that there is. News maps often added to the narrative by widening straits and uh, reducing the height of mountains and shortening distances and smoothing roads. The project that I've recently completed, Where Are Our Boys, wouldn't have been possible 10 years ago uh, or even perhaps five years ago because of the amount of content that's now online. It's great that we've got a resource like Trove that the National Library and State Libraries and others are contributing to. It's built a huge resource and the support of the Australian Government to make that kind of cultural resource available to everybody means that projects like this are, are possible. Hopefully in, in looking at these resources it, it will allow people to look at the maps and other collection materials that we have from those times and reflect on what contributions their ancestors and others have made to Australia and to see how important it is to continue to build and preserve Australia's cultural materials.